Okay, here we are, day three of the uh, Puppy Therapeutic Helmet Project. Uh, let's go around the class and see how it's going. Alright, here's the team that is designing the model of Star, our actual puppy. We've got some sketches with the measurements that we took from the uh, when the puppy visited. And Abigail's now working on the iPad. A couple things. Yeah, what's that? So, save comments. So I'm, Rio and I are using Tinkercad to use or make a model of Star's head and currently we're using shapes that we know how to make uh -huh. and we sketched that out so we can make her head a little more accurate by getting the basic shapes down. Cool, and you're working off those, these drawings with the measurements and then also the photos that you took? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, cool. So this is team puppy head model. Let's go over to some prototypes of the helmet. Hey, can we jump over to Tinkercad and see what you guys have got so far? So walk us through what we're looking at. All right, so um, we have like a hollow semicircle, which is going to be the helmet. Yep. Uh, it works as a protection for Star. And then this little hoop is wall detection. So as it's about to hit a wall, this hits it first. Yeah. It kind of constraints. It's an right. early warning system. Yeah. For here. Early so, warning system. And then this uh, head strap is a head strap. It kind of nicks it in, in place. Uh, and then we put a little star there to symbolize the Star's. Name. Of course! All right, that is ridiculously <laughs> adorable. But okay, let's print this and see right, how yeah, it still works. Putting in it the, uh, to uh, oh start. Are you still working on scaling it? Yeah, yeah we okay, can't cool. find it on the class. All right. And what do we got over here? This is another group working on the model of the head. Yes. Yeah, so and you went from the. So we went from using a skull, but then we realized it'd be pretty ineffective because uh -huh. we want the contour of the dog's head. Right. So we moved on to actually a dog head from it's, um, a dog head. Yeah. We got from Thingiverse, but we're matching the measurements from like the width to, of Star's head to like back yeah. of the head to nose to actually so fit. Like perfect. Yeah. Because it, obviously, like, if you pull up, can you just pull up that one picture of Star that we were zooming in on? Yeah. yeah like, so if you see, like, his nose is pulling straight out, and this is going from the forehead down, so obviously it doesn't. Oh, there's a little more angle on there. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. they did tell us to make room for the nose, so we're right. just kind of doing worst case scenario in terms of yeah. size. Yeah. Yeah. And this is just like a yeah, general just still idea. Playing with the um, measurements and stuff. Well, and the helmet may not actually contour to the snout itself anyway. Right. So yeah. We just wanted to. Yeah. yeah. The well, honestly, the nose may not even be a factor. It's just the top of the head. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we're still working with that. And like cool. ear placement. Nice work. Yeah. All right, and then we got Team Flexible Filament over here. Howdy. Working away on a couple. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that that extreme 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 extreme. Extreme. I'm going to stop it. So we've been testing <laughs> out the uh, <laughs> this filament that's actually ridiculously strong and stretchy. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm going to leave them alone. It looks like they're they're working really well here. Okay. And here are some more prototypes of helmets. This is a this is a prototype from Fusion 360, and some more 3D modeling going on over here. And here you're working in Blender. Awesome. So hopefully we'll have some prototypes to uh, hopefully we'll have some prototypes to show in a few days. All right, signing off.